Oh man, it was so sweet and oh my goodness, wow. I did not expect to cry during this video, but hey, this is, <laughs> we're getting raw and real today. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Alyssa and go ahead and hit that big red subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications so you can be the first one to know when I upload my video. So this past Monday was actually Keith and I's anniversary of when he proposed to me. So I just thought it was a great idea to sit down and talk to you guys about everything that happened before, after, wait, before, during, and after, which it was really awesome and it's crazy to look and see how much has changed in a year so we were like little babies back then but anyway we're gonna dive into all that also if you haven't seen the video of when me and Keith sat down to talk about our love story and dating advice for you guys you can go ahead and click right here to do so to catch up on that and let's just get into the video so months prior to um, Keith and I getting engaged me and him went and looked at different engagement rings all that time before I was on Pinterest and I was pinning all these different things and I really wanted a square shaped ring. I don't know what they're actually called. But I had like this dream that I was just gonna have this beautiful square shaped ring and you know you see all like the photos of like the girls with the sweater and it's like covering their hand it's like a little bit of the ring poking out and I was like cute yes I want that and then I take my tail in there try it on and it just looks so bad on my little fingers. I have like child hands and I'm like yeah we're not gonna we're not gonna go with that just not so good and so I was in there trying on different ring sizes and ring shapes and I really started to like um, the oval shape I really like the oval and I guess the circle shape so I ditched the squares and was just playing around with those fast forward to now so I was on his Pinterest because he has one but he like never uses it and he created a private Pinterest board for engagement rings like how sweet is that? I was like, oh. when I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness, he's so sweet. This is so great. Oh my word. At this point, he knows what I like. He knows what I'm into. He knows that, you know, squares does not look good. And um, to be on the lookout for like a circle or oval, the moment that we officially decided, you know what? We gonna do this thing. We're getting married. Don't know when, but we're doing it. And so that's when things got more serious. And I started like actually looking on Pinterest. Because at that point, I was just kind of like, and I want dogs at my wedding. Oh, I want like snow blizzards coming down. I mean, I don't know what's actually on my Pinterest board, but you know, you get the gist. So the one thing I told Keith was that if you're gonna propose to me, please make sure my nails are done. I know I'm not the only one out there who that was like their only thing. So the week before he actually proposed, he came out of nowhere and was like, oh, by the way, we're going home next weekend. Remember we're having that date, um, we're having a fancy dinner. And I was like, what are you talking about, Willis? We never talked about no dinner. And so my little flags went ding. I was like, is he gonna propose? Is it gonna be next weekend? What's gonna happen? Me and Keith, we go home and I was like, okay, you know what? I need to get my hair done. Might as well get my nails done. And Keith came and he picked me up from the nail salon and we went and got Chick-fil-A because I was starving. And after that, we went back to my house and we talked to my family for a little bit, hung out with the, my um, baby sisters and then we left. I was thinking we were about to go to a uh, dinner. And so I was like, I don't have any like fancy dinner clothes. I just got my hair did, just got my nails done. He looked so nice, he looked so cute. And I was like, and he got a fresh cut too. And I was like, there's no way I'm not about to roll up in here looking all crazy. And my plan was to just go in there, find something real quick and get out. But then I realized, Alyssa, you're an indecisive female. There is no way that plan was actually gonna work. And so we get in there and this man was acting so chill. I have never seen Keith act so chill in my life. Like he was acting like there was nothing going on at all, which good on his part kept me from like really freaking out. We were at Ross, his mom called him and he was talking on the phone really loud. I don't remember what he said, but I remember that day I was just kind of like, hmm. What are you guys talking about? He was on one side of the aisle and I was on the other. And so he realized he was talking very loud. So then he moved and I was like, dang, I really, really wanted in on that one. And so he comes back and he's like, so my mom is renovating the house and she wants me to pick up some picture frames. So I'm gonna go look for picture frames. Friends, let me tell you something. This is when my little red flag went off and I was like, renovating. One, he never uses that word, <laughs> which I mean, no one really does, but I was like, his mom has a very traditional style. So I was like, Keith, what style is she going for? What is she changing? Oh, you know, she's going for a more modern style. Red alert, red alert. I was like, I know Miss Brenda, a traditional sweet mother-in-law is not about to change her house from traditional to modern. So my eyebrows were like, hmm, 
I can't do the whole one eyebrow thing. And he comes back with like these really rustic style picture frames. And I was like, okay, something's off. I was like, she, I, no, no, she does not use rustic picture frames. And I was like, okay, just let it slide, Alyssa, you'll be fine. And one of the picture frames had a dog on it. And I was like, where is this going? What? Is she getting a dog or something? And so then he was like, oh, she just wants to know how long we're going to be. And I felt so bad because I still hadn't found anything. So I was literally just walking up, down, up and down the aisles, like looking at everything, but not actually looking at anything. And so it was taking a lot more time than it should have. This man is literally so chill. He was, he was walking around like a fashion designer. So he was just, he had the coffee in his hand. He was like, well, I think this one will look nice. And I'm like, bruh, what? And then he would, he would pick all the really cute stuff. And I'm like, how do you have better style than me? So he ended up finding a bunch of different dresses and I felt so guilty. Because I felt so guilty, it helped him out in the long run because I was so in my head and I wasn't, I totally forgot about anything engagement related. I was just like, I need to find a dress and I don't want to keep him and he needs to go back to see his mom before we go. And I'm like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to get. The world's ending. Everything's crashing and burning. I need clothes. And so then he found me some clothes. I found something. I went to the dressing room to try it on. I didn't like some of them. They all made me look weird. They all felt weird. And I was like, this is itchy. I'm not really here for it. There were two dresses that I'd liked. It was one that was a plain blue one. And then another one that was white with like yellow flowers on it. Fun fact, friends, that would be the dress that I would get engaged in. And it's crazy because he was the one who picked it out. He was like, let me just swing by my mom's house um, and give it the picture your friends and then we can go and I was like okay cool Leo let's do it so we pulled to the driveway and I was like oh Keith why are there why is there a car there whose car is that and he was like oh that's Megan's she's just taking pictures in my mom's house and I was like okay and also let me I for, totally forgot about this for like the past two months he would not let me get on his phone. He's like, I'm trying to get everything ready, trying to get things planned, and I can't have you on my phone going through things. And so I was like, hmm, I wonder what this is about. As we're walking into the house, it's dark, and I'm like, okay, whatever, maybe they're upstairs or something. And so we're walking in, I'm laughing and talking, and then, so he's on his phone, and I, I just think he's on his phone. He connected his phone to Alexa and had Alexa play Nathan Sykes over and over again, which by the way, it was the song that we um, did our first dance to at our wedding. Which by the way, you guys need to go listen to that song. It's so good. I don't know why no one else talks about it. I don't even remember what I was saying, but I was just kind of like, what is that? What, do you, what is going on? I'm so confused. He opens the door to the living room and it is dark and there are candles on the ground like in an aisle. Oh my word! Like bachelor style guys. I'm telling you my engagement was kind of like a bachelor, like a bachelor episode. It was really cool. And um, so then there was like rose petals all over the ground. By the way, something about those rose petals. So maybe like two weeks prior, I was on the Amazon account and it, I got a notification saying that like a hundred rose petals were coming to the house or coming to his mom's house. And I was like, rose petals, hmm, what could that be for? What he told me was that his mom does a lot of like party planning for his family. So they probably needed rose petals. And I was like, okay, I can see that. Yeah, whatever. And I put that in the back of my mind, moved on. So when I walk in, look on the floor, I'm like, that's what them rose petals are for. I knew it, I was right. And I'm like, Aw, Keith Maddox, Keith Maddox. He'd probably get so annoyed with me calling his name because I don't call him Keith, I call him Keith Maddox, it's weird. When most girls see like this beautiful arrangement, like all the flowers and candles and you're like, oh my word, this is amazing. You know, that's typically what girls do, but I feel so bad, even to this day. I literally look at him, I'm like, I'm, like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm like, whoa. You, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you. If I was him, I would back my little tail up out the door and leave. I'm about to propose to this girl and she tells me she's gonna kill me. Okay. At that point, I was just kind of taking it all in. So I was just like walking around like, oh my word, this is so pretty. And it wasn't until I turned and the flash of Megan's camera, I was like, oh my goodness, I know what's about to happen. And that's when I really got in my like emoticons. I was so <laughs> emotional. It was crazy. I'm ready. Oh, 
So he takes me in front of the fireplace and I look on top of the fireplace and it had all of our photos and roses and candles and it was so sweet. And what I didn't know then and what I learned I think a little bit afterwards was that there were just photos that we took with Megan and it was like in November or December. I didn't realize that what he did was he the reason why he took those photos was so he can use them and have them in picture frames for the day that he like proposed it to me. And I'm like, oh, that is so sweet. He thinks ahead. Oh my goodness, what? I'm so lucky. So he gets down on one knee and he says those beautiful words. And then here's what happens, friends. So my mom had given me a ring, a heart shaped ring that I used to wear all the time. And I would wear it on this hand on, I think it was my middle finger. I'm pretty sure it was my middle finger. Maybe, I don't remember. So whenever he went to go propose, I like, gave him my hand, but I gave him the wrong hand. So he takes off my mom's ring, and then it was also kind of like symbolism kind of thing, so it worked out in the end. But So he takes off my mom's ring and then puts the engagement ring on this hand. No one caught it that it was on the wrong hand. So his mom didn't catch it, the photographer didn't catch it, he didn't catch it, I didn't catch it, and we just kind of la di da di da went on about our night. And it actually wasn't until church the next day that we figured out that, yo, y'all put that on the wrong hand. So I had worn it on this hand, kind of went on about my day. My mom didn't say anything about it because I think I saw her the next morning. My grandma didn't notice. Nobody noticed. So I get to church and they're like, by the way, that's on the wrong hand. And I'm like, huh? We didn't know if it was like when you get married, you put it on this hand. So that's the, the theory we were going by. And so they were like, no, you're supposed to wear it on this hand. And we're like, oh, okay. And it's just funny because like, if you go back and look at our engagement photos, you can see that it's on the wrong hand. And I'm like, oh, but <laughs> Thanks for a great memory, though, and a great story. Oh, this is time. Aww. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> you see me right now? So I was going back, and I found a bunch of videos and stuff of him, like what he said right before he proposed to me, and it was so sweet. I'm not gonna share that because I want to keep that for myself. But oh man, it was so sweet, and oh my goodness, wow. I did not expect to cry during this video, but hey, this is, <laughs> we're getting raw and real today. But he said some very, 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 very sweet words and oh man, he looked so good. <laughs> I was getting emotional because we, I, oh man, let's do it again. Wow. Okay. It was really emotional for me because we had been through so much and it wasn't even anything related to our relationship, but things outside of our control that was happening. And so for us to have made it through all of that and for us to have this special moment that was just for us, that was just about us, that we could focus on each other, it was just so sweet. Oh man, and he's really good with his words. I'm just saying. I'm just so blessed to have found like my best friend and got to marry him and like we have, you guys, we have so much fun in this house. If you follow me on Instagram, you know my stories, like I'm always sharing the things that we cook together or like singing in the car. We do a lot of singing and beatboxing in the car, just saying. And we like have dance parties in our house. I mean, not every single day is like that, obviously, but overall I would say that we have a very fun marriage. I'm done crying now, friends. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna make some coffee because this is getting emotionally draining. So let's go make some coffee because I haven't had any today, so let's do it. So with the whole coronavirus thing, me and Keith went to the store last night and um, I got some more cold brew and I'm gonna go ahead and make that. So that's what we're doing right now. All right, and we are back, friends. Okay, so after that point, after he um, proposed, all the crying was done, all the dancing, because we danced over and over again again. <laughs> over and over again again. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm weird. So can we just take a moment to appreciate how cute this cup is? It says, yo, the best wife. Keep got it for me for Valentine's Day. And it's just so adorable. Also, I don't know if you're supposed to drink iced coffee out of a mug, but that's what I'm doing today. He told me that the reason why he picked that dog picture frame was because it was for our future dog. Because he knows I'm obsessed with corgis. I was like, can you get any more perfect? And we told our family and friends and they were obviously very excited. And it was funny, I loved Hannah's reaction. Hannah was so sweet. Cause she knew, she knew it was gonna happen. And then Kirstie screamed in her bathroom 
bathroom. I, oh my goodness, this is something I'll never forget. And everyone was just very excited and very happy and that was very good. And then we just enjoyed the night together. It was really cool. Anyone that knows me knows that I love The Bachelor. Oh my goodness, I love anything that's related to The Bachelor. I'm obsessed. After we got engaged and we, you know, told our family and friends and stuff like that, Keith was like, okay, Alyssa, we can watch The Bachelor. I was like, you could not get any more perfect. Like, you look good. You just proposed to me. You picked my outfit out. You got me coffee. You were super patient in the store. I'm like, I couldn't ask for a better day. Like, that was like an amazing, perfect day at that point. And I was like, wow, this is fantastic. And so we're watching The Bachelor. It was Colton season. I think it was the scene with Taysha. No. I love Taysha. I love Taysha. And I was like, I cannot believe I'm literally sitting in a room with candles, rose petals, watching The Bachelor with my favorite human on the planet. I was like, mind blown. I could, no day could get better than that. So after everything is done, he proposed, we told our family, we're watching The Bachelor. It hits me. I was like, so you said there was going to be a dinner. <laughs> Your girl's hungry. Was there actually going to be a dinner? And he was like, no. <laughs> I was posting it on Facebook and we were getting all these responses and all this love and stuff like that. And I'm just kind of like going through Facebook. I'm like, oh, people are so sweet and awesome. And he's like, Alyssa, what do you want to eat from uh, Crackle Barrel? Um, I don't, I don't know. Give me a minute. And so I literally like pushed it off for an extra hour because I was just kind of like, la di da da da, watching The Bachelor, looking at the comments. I was like, this is so great. This day couldn't get any better. I think we finally went and got Crackle Barrel. And I get home and I'm literally just like floating on cloud nine. I was like, did that actually happen? It was the perfect engagement and I loved it. This is the ring. Please ignore my nails. I haven't gotten them done. Okay. Yeah. Where's that? How do people do this? I don't know. Oh wait, let me show you without my actual wedding ring to show you what it actually looked like before. Yeah, so this is what it looked like. So pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and if you liked it, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what your engagement story was and how he proposed to you. And also, I wanna know what shape engagement ring are you looking at or what was your dream? Cause you guys know mine was the square, but now I got the oval, yes baby. And so just let me know what you guys think. And also let me know about this lip color because I typically don't wear this color. I typically wear like a lighter pink, but I couldn't find it so I was like, Pop of color, yo. Let's do it. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I'm telling you. I'm a much cheerier person when I'm on coffee. On coffee like it's crack? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs>